how did I become pescatarian? And if I'm pescatarian, why 99.9% .9 of the videos I'm posting on the channel of the recipes are vegan recipes? The whole story and the secret behind the vegan recipes in this video. So I was raised in the Arabic world and it's so common to, not so common, it's like a, one of the most important things in the Arabic world is to eat meat. Uh, like uh, if you have a celebration, a feast, it, it, it's not presentable if you don't have meat. So as a child, I started uh, skipping some kind of meat that I was eating. Like, for example, I stopped eating rabbits. I saw uh, how they slaughtered the rabbit and I was like, it, it was very cute. And I just uh, stopped since that time eating rabbits. I was about maybe five or six years old. Then um, I started uh, stopping eating um, uh, goose and ducks and uh, pigeons. Um, but I continued eating uh, chicken and meat and different kind of meat. Um, at the age of 25, I was working in a factory and uh, as a, in the opening of the factory, one of the ceremonies was to slaughter, um, I don't know, a sheep or, or what, uh, what kind of uh, animal was it, but it was so huge. And uh, maybe it's a, not a cow, something else. So anyway, I was going down, I was working in the first floor and I was going down on the stairs. And then I saw that they slaughtered this animal on the stairs and it was a, a big uh, pool of blood. And then someone, I, I of course ran up quickly and someone came behind me and he was carrying a bag and he said, this is your share. And I... I knew that he means that it's from that animal, like they, one of the ceremonies that they uh, slaughtered the animal and then they distribute the meat on all the people who work in the factory. So I told him, no, I don't want, I, I can't have, I can't eat this. And then he told me uh, the owner will be upset. This is not a good sign for the factory, you know, if someone rejected the gift. And so I really didn't care and I told him no. and. I would like to tell you that that was the moment when I became pescatarian, but this didn't happen. I continued eating meat and chicken normally. And as long as I didn't see um, that it was being slaughtered, then it's okay for me. Later on, I started uh, having this awareness of what should I eat, what I shouldn't eat, because I started caring for healthy uh, food. And I discovered that there is corruption on a big uh, scale of uh, organizations and associations worldwide that are providing food for people that is not that should not be eaten by humans uh, so i started um, researching more about what should i eat and the source of what i eat and uh, uh, we have in egypt uh, uh, something called El Faragi, I don't know how is it in English, someone who's specialized in selling um, birds, like any kind of bird, pigeons, uh, ducks, chicken. So I thought, okay, this guy, he really have um, the bird alive. And then you go and you ask, you choose one and you ask him to slaughter it for you and prepare it. So I went to him, I told him I want one chicken because it would be very fresh, you know, it was alive and it just, <laughs> he just slaughtered it. So he told me to choose, I chose the fat one. He put his hand in the, they were like in a cage and then he put his hand and he took one out. And of course, when he's doing this, he, he has a certain way to carry the chicken. So he need to uh, twist the, uh, um, the wings to the back. So he was taking the chicken out and the chicken started screaming quack, 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 quack. and then uh, the whole pigeons, the whole sorry chickens in the, um, uh, that were with this chicken were screaming as well and became a catastrophe, like a disaster happened in, in their lives. 
And he waited, the chicken and told me like it's about two kilos, is it okay? And I said, no. <laughs> and he said, you want bigger, you want smaller? I said, no, I don't want at all. <laughs> and, and of course he thought I'm crazy. But anyway, I would like to tell you at that moment I decided to become pescatarian, but this didn't happen. And uh, the what, what happened is that uh, I just came out of this shop and I went to the supermarket nearby because they have frozen chicken, which I don't want, of course, but they also slaughter chicken the same day and they put it in the fridge. So you just go, you see them already packed in the fridge. So I used to buy that one for years and years and years. Later on, after many years, I traveled to Europe and I started meeting vegetarians. And that was for me uh, very shocking. I mean, I never met any vegetarian before. <laughs> and um, those were people who were born also and raised eating meat and everything. But then they decided to become vegetarian. And that was for me uh, something eye-opening because before the day I didn't eat meat or chicken I felt so weak and maybe a bit dizzy and so when I started meeting people who are alive and functioning and energetic and they don't eat meat it was for me a surprise I would like to tell you that and at that moment I, I decided to become pescatarian but this didn't happen I continued eating meat and chicken normally. One day I was walking in Budapest and I was thinking about my documentary. I need to make a documentary about, I wanted to make a documentary about uh, religions and how different religions explain life. And it's a topic that actually I'm now <laughs> working on. Uh, uh, it's it's now turning into a big project and um, if you want to share your spiritual experience or how your faith or what you believe uh, explaining life then I will leave a link in the description box about uh, this project if you are interested you can get more information but anyway at that time I had this initial idea of the documentary and I was thinking okay it's easy to find the famous religions but how can I know about the religions that me personally don't know about and at that exact moment someone stopped me in the street and he looked different he was wearing something Indian and he shaved all his head he had like a ponytail small in the back and uh, he told me, do you know that you are not just this materialistic body? Do you know that you are also a spirit? And of course, I know this since I was a baby. So <laughs> it wasn't for me something uh, um, amazing. But what amazed me was he and what he was wearing. And I, I asked him, like, who, who are you? What, what, kind of, what is this religion? And uh, he said, we are the Krishna. And that was for me the first time to hear about the Krishna religion. I never saw any any Krishnas, of course, because in the Arabic world there are um, uh, Muslims and there are minority of Christians and that's it. Like not many others are allowed to be. So it was the first time for me to meet someone who's Krishna and then he... Uh, I asked him, I told him about my movie and okay, I want to make a documentary about, uh, uh, you know, about, uh, at that time I made actually this documentary with the Krishna and I will leave the trailer, uh, it was a short documentary, I'll leave the trailer in the description box if you want to watch it. But uh, he was very helpful. He gave me all the information I needed, contacts, addresses, and he told me about uh, their Krishna Valley where they are growing their food sustainably. And then, because he was very helpful, he then asked me if I want to donate something. And he had two books. He had a big book of vegetarian recipes and he had another small magazine. Of course, the donation for the big book was expensive, but the donation for the magazine was uh, not much. So I chose the magazine. And the issue was titled Be Vegetarian. 
So I read the magazine and it was about why you should be vegetarian and how people are like uh, Krishna people are living vegetarians for not only that but the, some Indian religions they are vegetarians for decades and uh, generations after generations they are vegetarian and they are okay you know <laughs> So I started seeing things differently because before I thought uh, maybe it will affect the coming generations you know when they are not eating meat and uh, i would like to tell you that at that moment i decided to become vegetarian but this didn't happen i continued eating normally meat and chicken but i had in my background in the background of my head all this like the rabbits the the slaughtered i don't know cow or whatever on the stairs the 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 scared chickens that all all it was in the back in the back of my mind and one day we were going to shoot a film in an industrial city and uh they were asking us we will be in a hotel and how many here are vegetarians so we can tell the hotel to prepare special meals for them and i thought it would this would be a good chance for me because it's an industrial uh, city there are no other options to eat only the hotel so maybe i can try we are going to stay for about one week maybe i can try it and see how it, how it would be like so and i did and it was okay i didn't feel weak i didn't feel anything and so i continued but i still eat fish and seafood and the reason for this because maybe someone think like ah oh, so you feel sorry for the animals then why you are eating uh, fish or seafood well for me the problem is that when i look in the eye of the animal and i see the connection i just i can't uh, eat them so chicken pigeons rabbit cows sheep but when i look in the eye of the fish I don't see a connection and I don't mind to catch the fish by myself. But um uh, it was for me it doesn't make sense that I'm eating chicken but at the same time I can't slaughter it by myself and I can't even ask someone to slaughter it for me. And that was uh, didn't make sense but fish and seafood I can do this by myself and I have no feeling of guilt. So that's why I'm pescetarian. What is the secret behind the vegan recipes I'm making here in the channel? The secret is very simple. My husband is vegan. <laughs> And now I'm eating almost 80% of my meals are vegan. I I try to eat uh, f uh, fish and seafood about once or twice per week. But uh, It started that when we got married uh, I found that his options are very limited as a vegan. So he used to go to one restaurant and he just doesn't have much options <laughs> and so I started researching like okay I was very interested in uh, cooking without animal product. So it was for me a challenge. How can you do this? And for example I always knew that a cake need to have eggs and milk so i was so surprised when i discovered that i can make a cake without eggs and milk i started uh, making other things like for example cheesecake i made the uh, birthday cake that is uh, vegan and um i also experiment with the new things and i enjoy it So that's the secret behind the vegan meals and or the vegan recipes I'm sharing here in the channel. I would like to hear your stories. How did you change your diet if you did and why you are not changing your diet <laughs> if you didn't? Uh, leave it for me in the comment below. And if this is your first time to watch the channel, don't forget to subscribe and, and I hope to see you in coming videos. Mm -hmm.